You know what I'm going to do is, I believe when you pray, it shouldn't be just words. You should know what you're praying. Mm -hmm. And the Our Father is kind of a hard prayer to understand what all the words mean. So what I'm going to do real quick for you is read to you what the Blessed Mother says states what the Our Father means. Okay, so we'll start this out real slow. Father, who art in heaven, okay, that's where he is, that's where we believe he is, that's where we all want to go. Hallowed be thy name. His name is. Give glory to thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. These are words of gratitude. We are telling him, truly, Lord, we know nothing without your kingdom, without your presence among us. We are weak and empty. Help us to realize that our earthly kingdom soon passes away, but that the kingdom of heaven remains eternal. Lord, reestablish your kingdom among us. Amen. You know what I mean by amen? What that means? It means so be it. I mean, so be it, Lord, that I will be done. Okay, that was interesting that you, that you said that, Mac. That, you know, I, I, somebody once told me that anytime you you hold on your heart unforgiveness, okay, you're blacking up love that should be in your heart. Okay, so if you push that out, the more room you'd have for love and forgiveness. So sometimes, although it's hard to do, you might feel cleansed by doing it. You might feel like you just came out of the shower. Hey, I forgave my sister, and all this is behind me now. Isn't it sad? I mean, to sometimes be upset with your sister, wouldn't you rather just go up to her and hug her? And, you know, be sisters. Okay. So that's, that was the Blessed Mother's explanation of what the Our Father means. So when you pray these words, you're asking God to forgive you in the same way that we forgive others. So write some of the words on the side there in that other column, okay, on ways that we forgive others in the lines below, okay? Just any way that you would forgive someone else.